today we're going to be doing the spar jar. The spar jar that I'm making is going to go underside of the lid here, come through the centre. I'm using these four points here that correspond with the cup holders um, to put pipe clips on. Just so that the spar jar will clip onto there, that will support it. Right, as you can see, the spar jar, I've already cut some of the pipe. Um, these are the two ends. I cut the pipe in the same way that I did uh, when I made the mash tun manifold. It's going to be a very simple design of the spar jar, and it's going to go underneath the lid and come through the top. The reason for that is because I want to try and keep as much uh, of the heat inside the mash tun as I can. Um, if I had a design that I had the lid open, then it's just gonna, gonna cool down, which isn't a problem in the summer really, but I suspect most of the time it's gonna be cool when I'm brewing. So that will certainly help. The two ends are cut. I've just gotta cut the center pieces of pipe to length and there's going to be three of them and in the middle we're just using this T here so we've got two long pieces and then two short pieces with this in the centre and this will come through the lid and then on the outside of the lid um, I have something that sort of supports it I suppose and then um, put a compression fitting on so that I can fit the um, uh, Gekka style fitting on. So what I'm going to do is cut the rest of the pipes there. And then I'll get back to you. So there's the spar jar assembled dry. I've got to solder it all together. So that'll be the centrepiece that will come through the lid. They have longitudinal arms. So what it leaves me now to do, before I uh, solder it all together, is to drill the holes in the longitudinal pieces. So I'm just going to go off and do that, just before we clean it up finally to put it together to solder it. For the tubes for the um, spar jar, we need uh, essentially to make like a sprinkler. So I put a line down the centre, I've marked at 20mm intervals and I'm using the same jig that I use for, for cutting the slits in the um, mash tun manifold just to hold onto the pipe. I haven't got a centre punch but I've got a little screw so I'm just lining up the centres giving it a little tap. All that's doing is giving the little indentation. I carry that along all the way along and then I've got a one mil drill bit which then sits in them little indents. Now very gently we just drill the holes. continue all the way along until um, all the four pieces of copper tube have been drilled. I'm only drilling the longitudinal ones, the transverse ones uh, at the ends I'm leaving. Just as before everything's ready to put together and I'm going to start to just run a little bit of flux on the inside. side of these joints. And also on the outside of the pipe on the mating surfaces.
anything now I've got to make sure is now that I've drilled the holes is that they line up and they're going to come straight So it's all laid out now, got the flux on there, and all it leaves me to do is just solder the ends together. I will just put that. So that's all on, and all ready to go. So there we go, the spiral arms now fully assembled soldered. I had a little problem halfway through because the gas ran out on my torch so I had to nip up and get some more gas and that's the last bit of solder I'm left with. That was very close as well. Just gonna let this go cool and then I'll give it a good clean up. Okay what I've done is taken the uh, lid of the cooler off unscrewing uh, where the hinge is and I've marked the centre and I've started to drill it's a bit of an unnerving moment because I want the holes to line up I've driven marked from the inside and from the outside so that's the hole from the inside I've already done the hole from the outside. Now I'm open. Oh, look at that, lines up. So pleased. All I've got to do now, all I've got to do now is drill that out so it makes the 15 mil to take the um, 15 mil copper pipe. This is a 10 mil drill bit. Lovely and easy drilling plastic. Completely different from stainless steel. So the next one, I'm gonna to have to use the step bit. I haven't got a twist bit that's any bigger. So there we go, 15 mil pipes all the way through. Just got to put the sparge arm in now, and then put the connector on the end. So there we go, sparge arms fitted. Everything that I can do for now. All I've got to get is um, some clips. The 15 mil just push. Um, pipe clips and I'm just going to put them through these holes here to secure them and that should clip on there and that'll hold that in tight as soon as I've done that I can then put the uh, connector on this end as soon as I've done that I can then connect up this end properly but they should arrive during the week so there we go well everything's all complete now the spar arms all in it all went pretty well except for the gas running out on the uh, the torch but we've only got some more gas for that so jobs are good so next thing I've got to do is think about what I'm going to be brewing so thank you for watching and if you like what I'm up to please hit the subscribe button here and just across here we should have some more videos. Thanks very much. Bye bye.